So today we're going to be doing our first ever mod showcase. It's the Adventure Time mod. And we're at Steve's skin because uh, our skin's not loading up. So, yeah. yeah. And what we're thinking about doing is every time we do a computer video, changing into my skin and into his skin, like, every week. So, okay, I know the boring stuff, crafting recipes, but then we'll get on to the mobs. So, this is a lot of the food items. So, first we have... Rain? Yeah, we have rain. No. Um, <laughs> we have bacon. And how you make bacon is you put three raw pork chops in a row and you get bacon. Mmm, bacon. <laughs> and then, next recipe, is you get wheat, and you can just, it's just one piece of wheat, and you put it in your hefting slot, and you get flour. So you get flour. And then, if you get the three flour, and get a bucket of milk, you can make a pancake. Mmm, pancake. What can you do with that pancake? You know, slap a piece of bacon on it, and you get bacon pancake, bacon bacon pancake. Bacon pancakes, bacon, bacon pancakes. <laughs> Sounds like a tasty treat. Yes, and random zombie over here. Okay, so, you're saying, hmm, Princess Bubblegum, how do you get her bubblegum? Well, you put, uh, you get some water and you put some sugar in it. Basically, that is bubblegum, pretty much. And to make a lollipop, you just get a piece of candy and get a stick, but you're probably like, where do I get the candy from? Well, this mod also adds in some new ores. You got the crystal ore, the steel ore, the candy ore, and the demon ore. And I just wanted to show you guys, this is redstone right here. What I'm standing on, this is this is redstone, as you can see, it's being powered. And this is the demon ore. They look very similar, so just be careful to not get those confused, because it is easy to get them confused. At first, I was like, hey, this is redstone, but it wasn't. Yeah. So, all these will be smelted. Besides this crystal ore, um, because this mod is still being updated, it's kind of a work in progress glitch, so if this game crashes your game, it's not our fault, it's the mod maker still being, still being updated, which is cool. Whoa, let me check. So, the steel ore, if you, uh, uh, smell it. smell it, you get steel. Steel ingot. Steel ingot. Yes. But, yeah, he doesn't like that. Yeah. Candy ore. Smell you get the candy, and that's where you put it on a stick over mm, there. Candy. And then the demon ore, which is very similar to redstone, so just be careful. And the creeper, they be creeping. Um, you put it in a chest, or not a furnace, darn it. And you get demon blood. Ooh. So, random sound effects from Bub. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So you get the stick, and you put a candy on it, and you get a lollipop. So, some little bit more foods, not really. If you say. Hmm, I want some cotton candy. Well, this mod adds in that. So what do you want to do is you want to get five string and put them in, like, a horseshoe pattern, but down, so, like, down you. Then put a piece of candy in the middle, and on the bottom, put a stick. And that gives you cotton candy. So this is some of the weapons that you can make. Not all the weapons are craftable. I think only, like, two are. Yeah. And the rest are dropped or, like, spawned in, like, chests and desert temples and stuff like that. So if you get four steel, two on the top, and two on the sides, it, this can be any sapling, I just used oak, and it gives you a root sword, which is plus ten attack damage, which is stronger than diamond. And if you get a lot of those crystal gems, again, it's a work in progress glitch, so you cannot smelt them, unfortunately. Oh, fire over there. Um, if you put them in a block shape, which is just nine, you'll get a crystal block. Which is kind of really, you can just use that for like storage and stuff. Let me uh, do this real quick. No, 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 no. For um, decoration. Yeah, for decoration, just to spiff up your house. If you're on a server and you're like, hey, look at me. So to make Jake's sword, what you want to do is get um, a steel ingot and two sticks. And that gives you... Jake Sword, which is plus six attack damage, which is still really good. It's just one under diamond, so it's still pretty good. And say you're like, I've killed a bunch of Endermen, and I have a bunch of diamonds, and I want a really cool sword that flashes. Well, this mod adds in that. It's the 4D Sword, if you guys remember that from the TV series. Yeah, 4D Sword. So you're going to get six Ender Pearls and two diamonds and a stick. And just as if you're making a diamond sword, but you surround it with Ender Pearls. So, like that. And say so you get a lot of the demon blood from the demon ore block, which is over here. 
you get them again in a block shape, fine, and you can get demon ingots. Now, my personal opinion, I think this is too expensive, but hey, yes, stuffage and thingage. So, if you get a lot of them crystal, crystals, you can make all the weapons, that's just an example, I didn't really feel like putting them all, you can make axe, hoe, pickaxe, shovel, and sword, like, sword right here, which is plus 10 attack damage, which is one higher than, well, no, higher than diamond. So, if you get some apples, surround it with crystals, you get gym apples. Surprise, it's not called crystal apples. So, this is just the stuff that is not crafted or dropped by any of the mobs. You have donuts, the everything burrito. Yum, yum, yum. How do you say that? <laughs> um... I really don't know. It's your Richard Don. <laughs> I don't know. It's the book, and I I believe you can interact with this. Don't quote me on this, but I think you can. Yes, you can. It's just, like, um... Yeah. Yeah, stuff and things. Crap. Yes. Then you have a grass sword, which, how in the heck is this stronger than diamond? Any, any test subjects? Oh, test subjects. Yay. You get a creeper. Ooh. Two hit kill with the grass, with a piece of grass. Boom. Kids, don't go outside and get grass and think you can beat people up with it because it does not work. And then you also have a paper sword, which is plus four attack damage. In my personal opinion, I think paper, like paper cuts, they're ouch. So I think them two should be vice versa, but whatever. His mod. So. Unless it's poison ivy. True. True that. True that. So now to the fun part, which is the mods. Or mobs, and some people think it's a sad part because you have to kill them, but whatever. So, yeah. So, first off, we have Finn, and he drops his sword. <coughs> Excuse me. So, this is Finn. Little, little derpy face there. Wearing his attire, I personally like the models in this mod. He holds a sword. I just think I have like a little bit of blonde hair shirt. I think that would have been pretty cute my opinion. And again, he drops his sword, which is plus 10 attack damage. So, really cool. Next, we have Jake, which normally drops two Jake swords, which is really cool if you don't want to make swords. There you go. And has a chance of dro dropping his armor, which I'll show you guys what I look like no, in this. So, I look, I look, I look like Jake. I, that, that's all I'm going to say. I look like Jake. He's, it's Jake the dog. And I'm just going to go into game mode S for a quick second to show you guys how strong this armor is. Look at that. I have full, full armor bars. Everything is full. Let me uh, go back in for those creepers and stuff. Target me. So it is pretty strong armor. So if you feel like really crucial and mean and you want to kill a whole bunch of Jakes instead of getting diamonds, you can do that. And he drops his sword. Let me show you guys what he looks like. So, boom. There's Jake. Really, really, really good job with this model. This one's a really good one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Put some stuff away. So, Princess Bubblegum. I think the spawn egg should have been uh, pink. pink. Yeah. So, but it's not, so whatever. She's really tall. And I think they could have did a little bit on the face. A little bit better. But, it's my opinion. So... Like, she's pretty tall compared to your player. Yeah. Pretty tall. True, the tiara adds in a bit, but yeah. So the next mob we have here is Bemo. Bemo has the chance of dropping two redstone and Princess Bubblegum. She doesn't drop anything but experience. So I wouldn't recommend killing her. Just you have nothing. She might call the guards on you. So just a warning. Or my, co my coffin. Yeah. He's got a overpowered sword. So, this is Bemo. I personally think, if you want to turn around for us, or I can get out here. And, oh, okay, I see how it is. Alright, so, very, very cute little... Eh, <laughs> very cute little model. I think they did a really good job on this one. If you can't see in there, let me spawn in a few more. So, apparently, if you right-click him, it'll say, Do you want to play some games? Let's see, did any of the other ones do that? No, she doesn't. Have you seen Finn around? No. So some of them little hidden Easter eggs if you're messing around and... Oh, lag. Is it... Is he... Get away. Get away. 
I don't want, no one wants you here. Let me, uh, this is very annoying, I know, but just, uh, it, it can get annoying and mobs spawn and some of the mobs may, like, disappear. So, oh, yeah, I skipped one, whoops. So next we have Marceline, which has the chance of dropping her bass. Her base. Base, bass, whatever. <laughs> but it's just plus 14 attack damage, and whenever you hit someone, you get wither potion effects. So that is amazing. Let me show you her. I personally, and she does burn in the sunlight, cause, hence vampire. I love her hair. I absolutely love her hair. And she holds it. Yeah, there you go. She's got a little smile. Holds her, her base. Really, really cool. Really cool mod. Mo model, model. Yeah. Ice King. I don't think she says anything. Oh. Um, no. The Ice King has a chance of dropping two diamond swords. Yes. So that's really good. And there he is. If you'll look. Yeah, there you go. If you write to him, you know any princesses. So, yeah. Because he likes princesses. Then his companion, which drops six snowballs. Gunter! This one's really cute. If you... Please. Aw. I was going to hope if you like right clicking, be like, rap, 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 make the like, little Gunter noise. I'm <laughs> terrible at it. The Flame Princess, which has a chance of dropping fire, which you can make chain armor with if you want to be like swag like that. So she has a really cool fiery hair thing going on. Derpy face, and she's supposed to spawn fire as she walks. And she'll uh, beat up the Ice King. She's supposed to anyway. Yeah, there she goes. Yeah. She doesn't like the Ice King. No. No. We have Neptar, which is... A never-ending, pie-throwing robot. Which drops pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin mm -hmm. pie. And it's fall, so that's... This seems fitting. Yeah, so you got Neptar. He's, he's a little cute. He's a cutie. Next, you have Billy. This one is really hard to kill, but it's so worth it. You get a diamond chest plate which has the chance of having different enchantments on it. This one just happened to be Blast Protection 3. And then Billy's Garnet. Unbreaking 3, Knockback 2, and Sharpness 3. Plus 14 attack damage. Again, it has a chance of dropping something different every time. Different enchantment. It's Gauntlet. No. Oh, sorry. It's all good. There's, there's Billy himself. He's pretty cool. Pretty cool looking. The next one is the Lich, which is kind of like a ghast. Drops four gunpowder and two gas gears. Well, I killed multiple, but a gas gear and sometimes gunpowder. He is a flying one, so I'm gonna have to kill him. Let me get let me get Billy's carnet out here. Oh, hello. This is the Lich. Let me look for me. Look for me. Look for me or not. I might have to spawn in multitudes. They do, they do, oh, okay, there you go, there you go, if you guys seen that. He has, like, blood on his hands, and they like to fly around. And one hit with this thing will kill him. So, will you look for me, please? Please? There, oh. <laughs> I'm not going to spend the whole mod chase, chase chasing after you. Yes, and they're you supposed to go after things, but they're not. But yeah, you guys, you guys, yeah. So, uh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, why do you hate me? <laughs> why do they hate me? They make gas noises. There you go. There you go. You guys seen that. You got, there, there. Th that one's nice. I'm not going to kill that one. So, as the world is currently erupted by the, um. By the lich. By the lich everywhere. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and that's the end of our uh, very first mod showcase. We'll see. You know, we'll try to do some more here once in a while. Um, so for James versus Kayla, this is James. This is Kayla. And we will see you later. Bye. See ya.